mix condensed milk and boiling water and be surprised by the result. We will start by putting 200 grams of condensed milk in a container, or half a box. Once this is done, we will add 250 milliliters of boiling water. Together, we will add half a tablespoon of butter, a whole egg, and with the help of a whisk, we will mix everything very well until all the fiber of the egg is broken. Go ahead and tell me what city or state you're watching this video from. I would love to know and send you a big hug. Once that's done, we will add a pinch of salt and 150 grams of wheat flour, about a cup of it. Let's put it in twice, so we don't run the risk of our flour getting lumpy. If you want to make this recipe in the blender, it's also very good and it will be ready even faster. And as this recipe is very versatile, you can use another type of flour if you can't have wheat flour. The important thing is that our dough stays at this point here, really liquid. Now we go to the frying pan. I'll grease it with a little oil, but if your frying pan is non-stick, you don't need to do that. Here, I put it only for the first few of them, and then I don't use it anymore. And in the hot frying pan, we're going to put our dough. Here, I will use two scoops because my pan is big. As soon as it turns yellow and it's unglued from the bottom of the pan, just flip it over to brown the other side. You just have to be careful because it's a sweet dough and it caramelizes faster than normal. And then just repeat the same process with the others. Here I managed to make a total of 9 pancakes. And to fill it, I'm going to use ganache. This ganache is fresh. I prepared it and left it in the fridge until it created this consistency. But you can fill it with whatever you want. Fresh coconut, strawberry with hazelnut cream, peanut butter, among others. Now just roll it up and enjoy! These pancakes look amazing and they are great to have for breakfast. Make it at home, cause I'm sure you will love it. In addition to being super easy to make, it's ready quickly. I hope you enjoy this video, a big hug and until the next recipe!